everybody welcome to our new video uh today we're going to learn how to send money using uh paypal in case you have paypal or you want to open paypal and uh, uh you, you 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 want to know how to send money or to receive money maybe somebody got paypal and uh, he asked you like he wants to maybe send you some money using paypal you get me so now uh that gonna be what we have to learn today that paypal is uh, something where you can receive money or you can get money or you can send money so in, the, in that case this is a very simple uh, process uh, let me do something here one i'm sorry about this let me do something uh, i forgot to do something one okay we're done with that okay it's fine so now uh, we're gonna go you go to paypal.com and it's uh, very easy to open your account. Pay. Paypal.com. Okay. So once you 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 do what you hear, you can log in. So your login, put in your login and say login. Okay. Uh after logging in, if you don't have an account, it's gonna tell you that you don't have an account. Uh then that's gonna be something. Uh, okay, once you log in here, you can see there are many things here. Request. Uh, what does request mean? Request. I can request money from somebody. I put in the email address here. A person I know who have has a PayPal account. So if that person has a PayPal account, I can put in his Gmail here and then uh, apply. I say next. So I'm going to put maybe Eric. Okay, let me say, I would say maybe, uh, I would say maybe Birmingham. Um, Smith. So Smith at gmail.com. Okay, after doing that, it's gonna get me that email and I say people on paper. I say okay, search and I say next. Okay. Add somebody else. Then I'm requesting maybe uh five hundred uh US dollars. Then I say request payment. Okay. We sent that to Birmingham Smith. So after sending that to Birmingham Smith. Uh, so, if Birmingham is going to receive this in his, uh, uh, what, in his uh, account, so after receiving this, he's going to pay if he has to pay us, if he knows us, you get me. That's going to be very simple. That's when I'm requesting payments, you get me. So, so then there's also sending money. So, this is when I'm asking somebody who has PayPal. And then... Uh, request more payments i can click here and request more but now here i can go to summary uh in my summary here i see i requested this much money from birmingham so pending this is still pending they're gonna see if he pays then it's gonna show that he, he has paid um then what you say here if i want to send money i click send here and uh I'm going to send to another email, maybe uh, Java West. Uh, five at gmail dot com. Okay. Then I say okay. I want to give this person five dollars then i say continue okay sending a friend it's free to use your paypal balance to send payments okay then after that is done i can say pay for item or service you select this or is this gonna be fine you get me so then after that this is five dollars then i can see uh Bremley view whatever whatever then i say please add payment option you get me so 
once I did, once, once I've done that, uh, if I'm fine, say, okay, add. Okay. They want me to add payment option. You get me a put in whatever, all that. So after doing that and the card, then it's going to send money to that. So because on the wallet, I don't have money here. That's why it takes me there. And this account is what is owing. You get me? So you can see the when I see, you, you can see, uh, you can see that this account is owing. So they want me to put another credit card number to use to send all the credit card numbers which are here. They all and they don't work anymore. You get me? So, but once everything is fine, sometimes you can even put one thousand, two thousand US dollars from your account to PayPal on your wallet. You get me? So once you put money on your wallet, it will be easier to send people. Like you see, there were some transactions here. This is pending because I haven't put, uh, they haven't paid. Okay, this is uh, uh, the sending I did, it didn't work. Okay, mind you, uh, I want to remind you guys, if PayPal does not work with each and every bank, in each and every country, they have banks, their partners, they work with, you get me. In South Africa, they work with a bank called uh, FNB, First National Bank. So if you get money from PayPal, you must have a First National Bank account to withdraw your money into your account, you get me? So that's all I know. In countries maybe like the U.S. or whatever, they might have a lot of banks because PayPal started from those ends and all that. But if your country does not have that, then it's going to be a little bit difficult for you uh, to do that. So if you receive money and you know there's no bank, no support, what the easiest thing to do is to uh, do what they call you can buy, maybe you use that PayPal money to buy Bitcoin. After Bitcoin, then you can convert it to into your bank, whatever money, then you can do what? Then you can change and convert it to your account. You know, most of the developing countries, they face it, uh, a, a challenge with PayPal. With, why? Because they don't have a lot of clients in, the, in that country. So there's no reason for them to uh, spend money on those countries. Why? Because they get limited uh, what clients, they have uh, less clients, so it's not worth for them to invest or to have partners in that country whereby a lot of people maybe use even cash more. They don't care about uh, PayPal and stuff. So you, it might be like you alone, you have to use that. So it's going to be dif difficult for you to do some transactions like that. But if you're familiar with uh, Bitcoin, you can buy Bitcoin. Okay, if you receive money from PayPal, then maybe you can use Bitcoin then you buy Bitcoin, then you can convert it to your, your money, then from your wallet, from Bitcoin, then you can send it to your bank account, you get me? So even here, we're facing some problems whereby we have only one bank which can help you to get your PayPal money. But if you don't have that bank account with those banks, then you have to talk to a friend to help you to, to do what, to withdraw that money using their accounts. But it's not even difficult to open an account for FNB. You can open an account for FNB if you get a lot of uh, funds from maybe from overseas or from other payments and stuff, you get me? So that's why I'm trying to say that if you're in South Africa, it's easier for you to use FNB to withdraw your money. Now you can have money on your wallet. For instance, if I click on wallet, yes, the wallet is owing, but it could happen that the wallet has this much money, $201, you get me? So this money, it could be the money which we have on our account, you get me? So since it could be the money we have in our account, so we need to, we might need to withdraw this money, you get me? So since we might need to withdraw this money, it's on the account here, we can't, unless if we have a FNB account. I don't know in other countries how it works, but I'm sure not every bank can be, can w get access to PayPal money, you understand? So guys, uh, I hope this helps. And you can see how to receive and send PayPal money. Understand, it's not that difficult. And it's very, very easy. It's a very, very easy process, you get me. So what we need to do is uh, to get learning more and more. And uh, if you have more clients on PayPal, then it's going to be easier for you. So you can see request and sending. That's where you're going to get uh, those options, whereby you just click one button. Then you say send payment to. You can send payment to anybody. Maybe you have somebody, you you promised money or sold you something. 
then you can put in their emails here because once I sent one guy, uh, twice, I sent one guy uh, from India. I sent him money from PayPal. I put here his email address. Then I said, click next, next, next. As long as there's money on your account, then you're going to manage to do that. Another thing is like if uh, you don't have money in the wallet, there's a, a credit card you can uh, you can add on your PayPal account. So when you add that credit card on your PayPal account, it simply means you're going to do what? It will pick money from your uh, credit card, then it pays the... Sometimes you might leave money here on the wallet or the money can be taken directly from your bank account, which is connected to PayPal. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any uh, any questions on PayPal, please uh, let us know in the comment box below. If this video was helpful, please give it, a, give it a, a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.